Greetings, Bill Trinan here, and welcome to the planet Mira. If you're watching this, you've heard the call of a grand destiny, and you won't be left wanting. Xenoblade Chronicles X is more than Monolith Soft's next RPG epic. It's a bold, open-world adventure from Nintendo that will appeal to anyone yearning to embark on a thrilling journey with their Wii U. It offers the player an experience on a scale you'd expect from an entry in the Legend of Zelda or Metroid series. It's a voyage through the unknown, a series of quests that beg for completion, and the most important mission humanity will ever face. To survive. On behalf of Nintendo, I hope you enjoy taking a deeper, bolder trek through the world of Mira than ever before. And on behalf of the human race, I hope you're ready for a change of pace. Two years ago, the unthinkable became reality. Humanity has fallen and planet Earth is no more, wiped from existence during a war between two alien races. Yet a small glimmer of hope remains. Against all odds, mankind has survived Earth's extinction, taking to the stars aboard a colossal spaceship called the White Whale. But the alien threat persists, pursuing the refugees across the galaxy to the area of space surrounding the distant planet Mira. There, the last bastion of humanity, the White Whale, is damaged in battle and torn apart in the atmosphere as it's pulled to the surface by the planet's gravity well. It's been two months since that day. What remains of the human race has been forced to accept their losses and learn to call this dangerous, uncharted alien world home. When your character awakens from stasis, you'll be welcomed to the one safe haven on planet Mira, New Los Angeles, which was modeled after its namesake. Here, you'll join the ranks of Blade, a team of explorers tasked with charting the land and ensuring the survival of the human race. Missions accepted through Blade will progress the story, while others will be handed over by corporations and even NLA residents. These tasks include everything from conducting reconnaissance to collecting resources, to battling monsters, and searching for refugees to rescue from danger. Outside the well-guarded walls of NLA, there exists a vast, unexplored world divided into five continents, including this one, Primordia. There are no real boundaries here. Nothing you can see is out of reach. Every continent is yours to explore right from the beginning of the game. That is, if you can survive the trip. Your journey begins in Primordia, a land of rolling plains, sparkling waters, and towering mountains. Noctilum is a strange realm of glowing plants and vast waters, rife with areas to swim through. Oblivia is a giant desert with a sizable oasis in the middle of its harsh terrain. Silvalum is a dry tundra with deep canyons and abstract rock formations. And finally, there's Caldros, a lava-soaked fire pit fueled by a massive volcano and littered with ancient architecture of unknown origin. Scattered across this varied world, you'll find life holds, fractured shelters that broke off of the white whale when it was pulled apart by the planet Mira's gravity well. Locating these life holds is one of the primary goals of Blade. It's up to you and your teammates to find them and rescue the refugees inside. On these search and rescue missions, you'll need a flexible map system. Luckily, the touchscreen on your Wii U gamepad controller hosts a map, which allows you to place probes in hexagonal segments. Once a probe is placed, each surrounding area will be marked by an icon signifying a different aspect of the game that can be explored there, from new quests to creatures you can challenge in battle. Probes also generate a resource called Meranium by tapping into veins of it that flow throughout the planet. Meranium acts as a type of fuel, and you'll occasionally hand some over to complete a quest. Utilizing your map and probes is the best way to explore new areas of each diverse continent.
Each continent on planet Mira is positively teeming with wildlife, some creatures being more approachable than others. These monsters may go about their business without provocation, or they may decide to gang up and launch a surprise attack on you and your party. In other words, you'll want to pick your fights carefully, as well as your strategic withdrawals. Simply put, some of these beasts are not to be messed with until you reach a higher experience level. Gigantic monsters aren't the only life forms you'll discover on planet Mira. You'll also encounter a variety of aliens here, from the adorable Nopon with their claw-like ears, to the Monon who build advanced technology, or even the warmongering prone. They'll stop at nothing to eradicate the human race, so needless to say, you'll need all the help you can get to survive their onslaught. That's where El comes in. This former inhabitant of Mira is a skilled creator, and also a merchant that sells his wares to the Nopon. That makes him an important ally, and just one of the many unexpected people you'll meet on your journey. Planet Mira has so many life forms to discover, creatures to conquer, and life holds to liberate that an inexperienced traveler may feel overwhelmed. But thanks to technology, this won't be a problem for you. At any time, you can deploy a nav ball, which will lead you in the direction of whatever quest you are on. They take off in a hurry, but don't worry. You can deploy as many as you want with no cost to the player. And if that's not enough, you can scope out the entire area by releasing the hopper cam. This flying camera will soar high into the air, allowing you to take in everything at once and plot your course. However, for the ultimate in travel technology, look no further than the Skell. Nothing compares to the rush you'll feel as you tear the open skies in half in your flying mech. Skells are fueled by meranium, allowing you to travel across the ground at high speeds. Fly straight to the top of any mountain to access difficult-to-reach probes, or to discover hidden caves filled with secrets. Skells will also give you access to a whole new set of combat possibilities, but we'll have to fill you in on that another time. Your tour has come to an end. I hope you enjoyed this brief look at the planet Mira, the world of Xenoblade Chronicles X. Believe it or not, we barely scratched the surface. 